Hello and welcome to my latest video. Ever wanted to learn how to make your own awesome banners? In this video I'll be showing you how I sculpted the banners you see here. If you like this video and want to see more like it, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. The materials used were green stuff and milliput standard. Mix the two parts of the green stuff together. Do the same with the two parts of the milliput. Then combine the mixed components. The better you mix them, the better the results will be. Three minutes per mix will be sufficient. Put some flour onto a smooth flat surface. A tabletop or sheet of plastic will work fine. Use a rolling pin to flatten the mixture. I use a Play-Doh rolling pin I stole from my children. Make sure you apply some flour to the rolling pin to prevent sticking. Roll the putty out to your desired thickness. Between one and two millimeters works well I find. Using a scalpel cut the desired shape. Cut out the tabs to attach the banner to the banner pole. Take your time to get this part straight. If you need, use a ruler. I now begin to use the scalpel to tear the edges of the banner. You can make it as torn as you like. This one is pretty old, so we'll have lots of torn edges. I've also picked a hole in the center. Trim the edges. I now use a piece of straight wire, the same diameter as the banner pole I'm using on the model, to roll the tabs around. Take your time, this can be fiddly. I'm using a metal sculpting tool to manipulate the putty. It's important to not pull the tabs over the pole overly tight. You will need the pole to slide out once the banner has dried.
double check you can slide the pole out, but leave it in until the putty dries. To create some flow to your banner, use something like a brush. To push under the center and create a ridge, this will make it look like it's blowing in the wind. Then prop up the end to create more flow. I'm using a needle file for this but anything will do. You can experiment with different items such as pencils to get different degrees of movement in your banners. Leave it to dry overnight. Once fully cured, you can remove the pole. A little sanding with fine sandpaper may be needed before painting. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please remember to leave a like and subscribe.